Hey, friends all over the world. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you the real reason why they hate you. Because many of you have asked this question. You've even asked me. You've asked others. Why am I, you know, why are there certain people in my life that criticize me, attack me, refuse to support me, et cetera, et cetera. And I want to tell you why tonight, because I think you really need to know. You, you need to understand this because you may not understand it. So I want to tell you the real reason why they hate you. You see, most of my life, I struggled with acceptance. I struggled with the notion of people rejecting me. And there were many instances in my life where people would, would do things and say things to me, and I never understood it. Why are they doing this? Why did that person say to me? Why did the person treat me this way? I remember a person walked to me one time and said, I don't like you. I said, but you don't even know me. They said, I don't care. Whatever I think I know about you, I don't like you. And I was so perplexed by this until I discovered a character in the Bible named Joseph. And you see, the thing about Joseph, Joseph had a dream. And it was his dream that provoked his brothers to try to kill him. See, his brothers hated Joseph because of his dream. And of course, his dream didn't represent his current situation. His dream represented his future. And his dream got him thrown into a pit. His dream got him put into prison. His dream ultimately led him through all of those situations into the palace. You see, your dream represents your potential. It doesn't represent necessarily where you are today but it represents where you can be or where you will be. See, a lot of us make this fatal mistake. We assume, or I should say serious mistake, we assume that because we don't see our potential, other people don't either. And that's a wrong assumption to come to. Sometimes people see your potential before you do. And your potential, again, doesn't represent where you are. It represents where you're going. And a lot of times, the reason why you're experiencing hatred, there's some people in your life that just all, anytime you tell them you want to do something, they try to pull you down. Anytime you tell them, hey, I want to do this, well, what? you can't do that. You shouldn't be doing this. And they find a reason to, to say something negative. And the reason why they do this is because they are afraid of your potential. They're afraid of where you're going. They're afraid of your future. So you're not being persecuted because of your current circumstances. You're being persecuted because of your potential. See, people hate what they fear. When I first started pastoring, for example, I would have, you know, we were meeting in a little hotel, just a few people gathering. A lot of people wouldn't even come to the services. We had to beg folks to try to come to church. And there would be pastors that would spew such vitriol against me, even though they didn't know anything about me. I didn't have any scandals going on, but they would, you know, just spew negativity and vitriol. And I didn't understand why. Until I realized that the, the grace on my life and the call of God on my life was a threat to them. This is why Saul tried to kill David, because he knew that David was a potential replacement for him. He knew that David had greater potential. <laughs> People begin to say, Saul killed his thousands. David killed his ten thousands. And Saul was livid. He was so angry at the thought that this is somebody that will be more successful than me. 
And this is why a lot of you are going through this. You don't even realize it. First of all, you know, Joseph's biggest problem was that he shared his dream with the wrong people. Some of you are doing that. You're telling the wrong people your dreams. You're telling people that don't have the capacity, hear this, to handle your dream. So this doesn't mean they're bad people, but they're not developed enough. They're not mature enough. They don't have enough foresight to handle where you're going. So you can't divulge your dream to everyone. You can't tell everybody what God has put in your heart. It's not for everybody to know. For example, you can't tell prison friends about your palace potential. They can't handle that because some of them are in solitary confinement. I'm not talking about in a physical sense. Some people are in solitary confinement in their mind, in their thinking, in their attitude. And so when you start talking about the palace to a person bound to the prison, you begin to exacerbate them. You begin to frustrate their lives because they're saying, who do you think you are? You, you, know, you can't get out of jail. You can't go and just be getting out of jail like you want to. We stuck in here. No, 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 we're not. I can't tell you how many times I have talked to people, how many times that I had to, 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 to come to grips with the fact that there were people in my life that had no intention of going any further. They had no intention of going any further in life. And here I was talking about all these things I wanted to do with people that could not handle. My goodness, I hope you hear what I'm saying. They couldn't handle what I was talking about because they could not perceive the dream that I was divulging to them. I want to encourage somebody. It's not personal. You sitting up here. Why won't people support me? Why won't they come with me? Why won't half of the people that you want to support you, they can't support you. They don't have the cognitive ability to support you. They don't have the sense to support you. They don't have, they, they, they don't think big enough. You're getting upset. You're like, I don't, why won't she do this? And why won't she? I don't understand why they don't see. They're not going to see it. They're not going to see it because they can't see it. God in his, oh my God, you got to hear what I'm about to say. God in his omniscience and in his sovereignty has blinded certain people to the dream he's put inside your heart because he does not want them to know because if they knew your potential, they would seek to sabotage it. Some people, if they really knew who you really were, they will try to destroy you. <laughs> That's why the wise men didn't tell Herod about Jesus, because they knew that if he found out about Jesus, that he would try to kill him. He would be threatened by this upcoming kingdom. See, this is why people do some things that they do. There's some people that will slander you, not because you've actually done anything wrong, but because they are upset with your potential. There's some people that they will look at you, they'll see you going through something and they won't support, they won't lend a, 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 lend a helping hand, not because, not because of anything other than the fact that they are disturbed. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. Some people are upset with you that what they did to you didn't work. You gotta, you gotta say, you gotta hear what I said. I don't know if you catch what I'm saying. Some people are angry that what they did to you did not work. Here, here's how many people are upset with you because of what they did to you. <laughs> they what they were watching. They gave you the poison. And they thought after you drank it, you were going to die and you just burped and you went on about your business. And that person is saying the audacity of you not dying when I tried to kill you. 
Some of y'all not hearing what I'm saying. The audacity that you went through that divorce and it didn't destroy you and my divorce destroyed me. How dare you survive? How dare you go on and be great? Who do you think you are? What do you mean? You mean you you left my ministry and you still succeeded in ministry? How dare you succeed? How dare you succeed? I'm trying to tell you this is the psychology of those who are hating you. And it's not even personal. They don't even know they're doing it. Sometimes it's subconscious. It's not even, they're not even aware of the of the the ramifications of what they're doing. That's why you don't need to take it personal. There are people that are upset with you because they tried to close the door and you still went through it anyway because you got to understand when God opens a door for you, he opens doors that no man can close. I can't tell you the times I've been at the table with people who told others not to invite me to the table and I'm sitting at the table and they're upset. How did you get here when I did everything in my power to keep you out? I did everything in my power to kill you and it didn't work. It's your potential. You don't even realize your potential. You don't realize how dangerous your potential is. You don't realize how dangerous your potential is. Your potential is dangerous. You have to be careful. Your dream is dangerous. You need to understand how dangerous your dream is. Some of you are mishandling your dream because you don't realize how dangerous it is. Your dream is dangerous. It was it was it was Joseph's dream that got him thrown into a pit. It was Joseph's dream that got him thrown into a pit. It's the hand of God upon your life. You may say, well, I don't even think, of that. and there you go. That's your problem. You are underestimating and devaluing the dream. You are underestimating and refusing to acknowledge the grace of God that's on your life. You didn't survive what you've gone through because you were smart or because you were savvy or because you were well-connected or because you were well-aware. That's not why you survived. You survived and overcame and are still breathing because of the grace of God upon your life. That's why you're still here. That's why you're watching this video is because of the grace of God upon your life, the hand of God upon your life, which has preserved you and kept you and blessed you and increased you and protected you all these years, even until now. And there are powers that be operating in people, demonic spirits operating in people who hate you and they don't even know why, but I'm telling you why. They hate you because of what you carry. Hear me, they hate you because of what you're carrying. It's not just you, it's because of what's on you. It's because of what's in you. They're threatened by your potential. They're threatened by not only who you are, but who you can be. See, let me tell you something. This is the last thing I'll say. There's nothing more diabolical than someone in your life who knows that your potential is greater than you realize. And they don't want you to know. So they try to, keep, listen, they try to keep you satisfied. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost on this. There's nothing better for your life than a friend that won't let you be satisfied. You need to thank God for the dissatisfying friend. There is a friend 
who will agitate you and irritate you and, and, and annoy you because they recognize that you have more potential than you realize and they're constantly pushing you towards your potential. They constantly tell you, go go back to school. You can do it. You know what? You you are prettier. You oh, you so you don't even realize how pretty. You're handsome. You're smart. They're always pushing, and you get annoyed with them because you have another subset of friends who are satisfied with you being content, and they have they have they have uh, um, sold you the poison of satisfaction. There is something about being discontented. How dare you? Dream bigger than your environment. <clears throat> How dare you? <clears throat> How dare you? <clears throat> How dare you dream bigger than your environment? <clears throat> How dare you? The devil doesn't even want me to tell you this stuff. The devil doesn't even want me to tell you this. He trying to attack my voice. <clears throat> How dare you dream bigger than your environment? You see that? As I was trying to tell you that, the devil tried to shut me down. Tried to shut down my voice. He didn't want you to know there was nothing wrong with my throat. I don't have any, any sickness or allergies. All of a sudden, my throat went out because the devil doesn't want you to know this. He doesn't want you to know. He doesn't want you to know that you have more potential than you realize. That your destiny is bigger than you could have ever imagined. Keep dreaming. Keep pressing. Keep standing on the promises of God, whether they support you or not. Keep moving forward, whether the doors seem to close in your face or not. If God be for you, who can be against you? That's why they hate you.